Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server, and specifically we're gonna focus on the different types of chassis. Let's get rolling. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. If you find anything in this video useful, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so we're gonna go over the different types of chassis for the R530. And there's only one, it's kind of crazy. Uh, when you look at uh, the 13th gen as a whole, um, I mean, really, there's always a multiple chassis. Um, the uh, 430, which is very similar to the 530, and we're doing a st uh, series on that next. Uh, the 430 has a small form factor and a large form factor option. Uh, the 630 uh, has an 8 bay, a 10 bay, and technically there's a 1.8 inch option that's kind of a unicorn. Um, the uh, 730 has a, a small form factor and a large form factor. Uh, I mean, there's just normally there's just different options, uh, especially with two uses as a whole. Um, with the 530, um, I was actually kind of surprised when we delved a little bit deeper that there's really only one option. It's the 8 bay large form factor. There is something known as a 530 XD, which is also kind of a unicorn and very, very rare that has a 12 bay large form factor, um, but you just don't really ever see it. So the 530 is going to be an 8 bay large form factor. That's what you're going to get. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll delve into it a little bit more. We'll show you um, all the different parts inside since there's really only one type. It'll be kind of easy to do and we don't have to show the different comparisons between them. So uh, let's hop in and we'll show you the insides. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. Very simple. Make sure your latch is set to unlock. Pop it open. Lift it up pretty much like any 530 or any other really Dell server you've been in before. Okay, so uh, now we're just going to lift the air baffle up to get to the inside. But I wanted to go over a couple of the uh, components since we're uh, discussing the chassis as a whole. So right here is going to be your back plane. Uh, and your back plane is going to have the uh, the eight slots for the hot swap drives. You're going to have your RAID cable or your SAS cable that's going to come around and down to the board over here. Uh, back here are your redundant uh, hot swap power supplies. So you can pull this out right here. This one's a 1100 watt. We'll actually show you the different options of power supplies coming up. Um, there are five PCIe slots. Two of them are full height. Uh, three of them are uh, low profile brackets, PCI 2.0 as far as the generations. Um, if you lift up the air baffle here and you come inside, you'll see there are two CPUs. Uh, CPU one controls uh, eight dim slots up here and CP2 controls four dim slots up here to get you a total of 12 dim slots. Uh, here's where your RAID cable goes. Uh, we're going to actually do a, um, a video on the RAID and show you how to install them in the different options. And then you'll notice a, a couple of differences compared to some of the other systems. Uh, you actually have an uh, iDRAC card back here as opposed to it being built into the motherboard. So that's a little bit different. Um, and you also have a built-in uh, NIC card. Okay. So as opposed to installing a daughter card, there that's built into your board and we'll talk about those more in those videos upcoming uh, but those are just some of the general differences and this riser right here uh, is what has two slots that are the full height bracket, uh, brackets back here so that's just kind of the general uh, lay down of the system as a whole and the different uh, parts inside and really we're kind of um, in this series breaking down each part of it uh, so hopefully if there's something in particular you want we're, uh, we're covering it and if not you know do us a favor and email us or, or uh, drop a comment down below and just say hey you know I'd love to see you know XYZ and we'll we'll try to start covering other things someone wanted us to um, uh, a guy named Thomas uh, wanted us to start doing operating systems to show you how to install Windows operating systems. I thought that was a great suggestion. So if there's something else that you think we should add in, please let us know. All right, appreciate your time. Uh, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're using any uh, R530s or any other servers in your data center, uh, please email our team. We'd love to quote you. Sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.